Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles season 4. Today we have Bhavya here with us who has been recently placed at Ring Central as a part of his campus placements at VIT. This was a slot one company and before we talk to him let's look at the eligibility criteria. So all the students belonging to computer science and ECE branches were eligible provided they had an 85% or 8.5 CGPA in their 10th and 12th and an 80% or an 8 CGPA in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Bhavya and understand his experience interviewing for Ring Central. Hi Bhavya, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Uh, yeah sure uh, so hello everyone my name is bhavya patel and i am a final year student at uh, vit chennai and i recently got placed at uh, ring central okay okay that's great thank you so much uh, you can tell us now about the placement process like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of yeah sure so the first round consists was like online assessment mm -hmm. and we had a seven question in the online assessment okay where out of seven the five were like mcq a dsa based mcq mm. uh, so it was like a easy mcq mm. not very hard okay. and then we had a two programming question okay and the programming question consists of a dp some some people got graph okay. and some people got a trio question also hmm. also there were question with the graph plus dp kind of question okay so the programming question has level like uh, medium to hard level question okay 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 then uh, following that yeah so following that we like after the first round Uh, around 22 people got sort listed for the technical interview hmm. and uh, we had a two technical interview hmm. uh, so 22 people got chance for the first technical interview hmm. and after the first technical interview uh, 10 people got a chance for a uh, second interview which was like a technical plus hr interview okay. all the combined hmm. and uh, out of the 10 people around we four people are got selected okay 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 That's great. So there were total of one online assessment and two interviews. Yeah. So online assessment conduct in the lab itself. Okay. Back lab. And then following two interviews. Okay. And how were the interviews like? So. Yeah. So first interview is completely technical, hmm. and it uh, it consists like a fifteen minute for each each student. Okay. And the interview like start with the introduction of mine and his introduction. Hmm. Uh, then we started with the problem solving. Uh, like medium read code medium problem solving question okay okay and following that he asked me about the oops question right. and about the dbms like uh, i use mongo db for my project hmm. so he asked me why mongo db why hmm. not like a uh, sql sql database right. and also also i use uh, aws so he asked me about the aws also okay so so technical question were around my projects and, okay and the technology i used and what are the main i mentioned in the my resume hmm. so they focus resume a lot hmm. and and about my experience in like for the, all the projects so this was like my first technical interview okay and uh, following that the technical two interview so initially sir start with uh, like he give me a choice to like i had a three projects in my resume hmm. he give me choice select any one project and give me brief architecture diagram okay. like the what is the flow of my mm, project mm. Uh, like uh, how requests went from the front end mm, to back end mm, so mm. what are the things are going on mm. explain me everything then so i explain explain about the project everything right and he satisfied and after that uh, he asked me about the oops from mm. the four pillars to like from every, everything about right. the oops right. then about some computer networks mm. like and also how computer networks are implemented into my project okay so i which i explain him earlier mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, after the technical question he asked me some behavioral question like uh, what do you want to do after 10 year in the, in the industry right. why why you want to join the like industry why you don't want to do master and all mm. so and this was like uh, technical to interview right yeah. okay okay that's great uh thank you so much for sharing your experience and do you have any suggestions that you have for your juniors or for your peers who are trying to get into uh, good placements uh, yeah sure so i would say is like the practice is a key mm. like practice dsa which will help you in the online assessment right because online assessment 
uh, we had like all the scenario based questions mm -hmm. like the, i have to implement this extra algorithm in the my question okay. but uh, it was given in the long format in the very good scenario mm -hmm. so if i practice a lot of this type of question then i would like easy to do in the okay, next question okay. mm -hmm. and maintain a good cgp is a very much which will help us to get shortlisted in the first online assessment round okay okay Okay, that's great. And do you have any resources that you prepared for from that you'd like to share? Yeah. So for a DSA, I prepare from a Striver only. Okay. So I would say not only Striver. Like if you follow some X Y Z person, hmm. follow them thoroughly. Hmm. Like I follow the Striver, then I follow Striver thoroughly, not right. any X Y Z person. Hmm. So it will be a very consistent consistency. Like hmm. I should maintain consistency in that. So in the long term, it will be help me a lot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And regarding the computer science subjects, uh, do you where did you study that from? Yeah. So computer science subject, core subject, uh, I I derived from the GFG, hmm. and also in the Striver section there are so many. Okay. In the Striver website there are so many sections. Okay. So I can go through that also. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. can you go through that. Mm -hmm. So it would be very beneficial in the technical interviews. Okay. Okay. That's great. Thank you so much for sharing your experience and for all your suggestions. I'm sure it's gonna help many people. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Listening. Thank you all for watching. If you did like this video, if you found this helpful, please do like, share, and subscribe. And all the best on your placements. Thank you all for watching.